buckle up. We got some good foodie fun coming your way. Hey, let me tell you about a great set of cast iron. This is in, uh, excuse me, nonstick cast iron, but it's an, an entire set of cookware. You're going to get a one quart covered saucepan, nonstick cast iron. This little guy, which is two quarts, a covered brazier. When I saw this one, I said, look at that sweet little pan. Just perfect for dinner for two. I think that's just lovely. A five quart covered Dutch oven, soup, stews, chilies, chicken and dumplings, chicken and dumplings. And when say chicken and dumplings, I'll have the chicken and dumplings. And then we've got an open skillet with pour spouts. Now, I've also got a great color story for you. This is the red. Down below, I've got it for you in navy blue. This is your green. Green is most limited. This is copper. And finally, I have it for you in the gray. All of this for six payments of $15 each, but that six pay will go away end of day today. Now, let's come over and meet Shereen Pavlidis. She's a member of our Cooks Essentials Hello. team. Great to see you, Angel. Hello. What are you frying over here, my darling? Oh, they're for you. Cheesesteak spring rolls. Cheesesteak spring rolls. <laughs> all right, I'm all about that. But you know what I'm also all about? Cast iron. That does this with a fried egg inside. That fried egg is dancing inside the skillet. Why? Because there's a nonstick coating in here. Absolutely. That's amazing. Amazing. So, this is new and improved cast iron. So, it's still the same tried and true cast iron that we know and love from our grandmother, our mothers, but now we've made it better because it's nonstick, David, and it's dishwasher safe. Look at that. So, when these pans get a little bit dirty from cooking, and they won't get very dirty because they're already non stick, you're going to pop them in the dishwasher if you choose, or just a little warm, soapy water in the sink. Right. I can also tell you that these never need seasoning because that non stick coating is designed to be the kind of uh, cast iron that will never need any seasoning. When I was a little boy, my grandmother would put lard in her cast iron. Uh huh. She'd oil the inside of the pan and then put it in like a 200 degree oven for hours and wow. hours and hours and hours, just letting it bake on because cast iron is porous. Mm -hmm. So if it would draw in all that lard, then she would be able to keep that nice and seasoned mm -hmm. for all the things she was cooking month after month. Mm -hmm. But you're never gonna have to worry about that with this. Grandma would also never let me put any of her cast iron near soapy water. She'd always say, uh, darling, put this in the sink, but don't put a speck of soap in it. She'd say, a speck of soap. <laughs> don't put a speck of soap in it. So this is what it's all about. Never seasoning this, but you're getting all that great even heat distribution. Beautiful even browning. Frying is a dream in here. You're yes. going to do braised beef short ribs, one of my most favorite foods in life. I know. This is fantastic. You've got so many great ways to use cast iron because, let's face it, cast iron dates all the way back to the wild, wild west. Right. When they used it and cooked in it over... A campfire, right? Right. So you're still going to pass this down from generation to generation, but now we made it that much better. Here we have the two quart brazier, David. We're, we're doing a little pan, we're doing some deep frying. You could do pan frying. When I grew up, my mother always made chicken cutlets once a week. Mm -hmm. You could do that in here, but you could also do one tablespoon of oil and just saute because it's nonstick. It's forgiving. You don't have to add a lot of oil. I notice also that you are working on an induction cooktop. Yeah. Yes. Remember, in this cast iron will work on induction. So if you've got mm -hmm. an induction stove top or a cooktop, you're good to go there. This is also oven safe to what temperature? 500 degrees. 500 degrees. Yes, and I have a casserole for you. Ooh, let's check it out. Shall I get your oven door? Please, thank you. Okay, you're no such a good friend. So again, your, your oh, two-quart brazier. Yes, mm -hmm. Uncle Bertie told me you like mac and cheese. Look at this. So some fried chicken, some mac and cheese. Yeah. Wow. How about that? Now, is that going to all come out in a great big It piece? is. It, it is. Thank you. Thank you. There we are. So I wanted to show you. So look at that. So yes, this is nonstick, but I want you to see the bottom of this brazier. This is a wipeout. And you know what that is? That's two quarts of mac and cheese. That's a lot of food. Yes. Quite a lot. That is a lot of food. Right. That's two quarts. But look at that. David, this you can just wipe out. I love reading the reviews, David. And on one of the reviews from Peach's Girl, she said she leaves this right on her stovetop yeah. and just wipes it out. Wow. Right? Because you, it's that easy to clean. I love that. And you're making what I like to call a cheese twill. Yes. And I'm just bringing this in from the sides because once this really starts to melt and set up, we're going to be able to get that out all in one great big piece. This is melting Parmesan cheese. I know. In the or bottom of the skillet. If you want a real treat, do Parmesan and Asiago mixed. Mm. Oh, it's so good. 
Now, if you want to do Asiago by itself, that's fine too, but it will burn in a New York minute. So just get it in there, get it all melted, and get it out of there. But because, look at, that. And look at that, no sticking, no problem, but don't dare throw that cheese away because that's some good eating right there. <laughs> I'll all save right, it now, for you. Let's take a look at what you're getting. You're getting a one quart covered sauce. Now, I love this for little sauce jobs that I'm doing, maybe making a little oatmeal in the morning, making a gravy to go with dinner, whatever the case may be. This is going to be a, a, a nice cheese sauce for vegetables. Absolutely. It would be perfect for that. This is that two quart brazier. Uh, guys and gals, that huge amount of mac and cheese I turned out, or that Shereen turned out, came out of this size pot. Unbelievable. It's a huge amount of food. It is. Then a big five quart Dutch oven, just in time for autumn cooking. Now, as sad as I'm going to be to see summer go, I'm going to be equally glad to welcome autumn cooking, right? Soups, stews, chilies, chicken and dumpling, mm. braised beef short rib, yes. hot roast, bolognese. roast chicken, oh, bolognese. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and then, of course, your great big open skillet. I believe this is 10 inch, is that right? 10 inch, correct. 10 inch, thank you. Yep. 10 inch with the pour spouts. Mm -hmm. You get one on each side. Now, this color is the red. This is a beautiful wine colored red. Kind of a, a, a deep uh, brick red. Mm -hmm. Then I've got it for you in navy. Here is your green, which I'm told is most limited. 450 in the green. Here it is in copper. And finally, I have it for you in the gray. Now, red is most popular. This is six easy payments. However, the easy pay will go away at end of day today. Wow. So you don't want to wait too long on that. So I want to show you this beautiful sear because that's what cast iron is all about. It heats well, it holds that heat well, and look at that sear. This is what we're gonna do in just a few short months. We're gonna make delicious comfort foods, and that's what you can do on a Sunday. Surround your family around the table, and then you're not gonna have to worry about soaking this. This is not a soaker, because it's non-stick. The cleanup is gonna be a cinch. Because what I'm gonna wanna do with that gorgeous braised beef short rib, is to glaze that pan with some gorgeous red wine. You're already beating me to the punch. <laughs> and some beef stock. Yep. I'm going to throw some fresh herbs in there. You're, you're calling my cue. You just cue, you cue me, David. And then, of course, a little tomato paste, because that's just going to thicken the, the, the gravy that you're mm -hmm. going to serve with this. And then you're going to let that braise in the oven, along with some delightful veg. And then just let that go in the oven. Make sure there's nice fresh bay leaves in there, some yes. cracked black pepper, mm. great big coarse salt in there. Right here. Oh, that, oh that's what I'm talking about. This is <laughs> autumn in a bowl right here. This and then is. get that in the oven and let that slow braise for like two, three hours mm. until the bone just falls away. But leave the bones in there because it's more flavor. And then you serve that with mashed potatoes or egg noodles or polenta and a great salad or a nice green vegetable like green beans. Make biscuits in yes. the skillet. I could talk about this all day. <laughs> all right, this is K48298, but you need the great vessels to get to the finish line with all that great food, and this is a great way to begin. Shreem Pavlidis, you have the finished dish right here, you temptress. I did, yes. Look I at you. Did. Look at nice that. to have you back. So Thank you so much. Thank you for hey, having stay me. on the line. We're going to get you all squared away with your favorite color. In the meantime, Stacy, we'll save some braised beef short ribs for you. Oh, you're so kind. I ate all those French, French fries you saved for me, too, by the way. I want to give a shout out to Debbie, Deborah,